Hello again and welcome back to the Lake of the Woods and More Fishing Report. This week we got a report from Lake of the Woods, Devil's Lake, Upper Red Lake, and out on Lake Sakakawea. We have a good group of resorts and guides that send us a fishing report once a week and we share it with you. If you use any of these fishing resorts or guides, please let them know that you saw them here on After 5 Outdoors. If you have any pictures that you want to send us to put on the fishing report, After 5 Outdoors at Gmail is the email address. Send them to me and I will get you up on the next week's fishing report. Let's start out this week, go out to Upper Red Lake, talk to West Wind Resort. They said actually the fishing improved out there last weekend. They had a really good bite. That bite was in about 13 feet of water and it was really good as the sun was going down and into the evening. Some nice walleyes being caught out there. They said that set lines work better than jigging and they're hoping that some stability is going to come in the weather. We've had some, actually between today and yesterday, we had a 62 degree temperature change. So that doesn't help matters at all. Weather looks to be a little more stable coming up to this weekend. So hopefully that's gonna help the bite out there. Your highs this weekend look to be in the teens to maybe to 20 degrees over the weekend. Lows are gonna be around zero. Your winds look to be about 10 to 15 on an upper red lake. West Wind has some openings in February for some of their some of their cabins and some of their sleeper houses. So the link for West Wind Resort is in the description of this video, as are the links for the other guides and resorts. If you're wanting to get up on Upper Red Lake, chase some walleyes and some crappies too, get in touch with West Wind Resort. All right, let's move over to North Dakota, over to Devil's Lake. Talk to Mark from Bry's Guide Service this week. He says it's been a roller coaster out on Devil's Lake big temperature swings, high winds. But he says in his experience, the weather doesn't affect Devil's Lake as much as it does other lakes. Now he says, if you're wanting to come out to Devil's Lake and you're going on your own, your best area to go out of is the East Bay Campground or Woodland Resort. They plow roads and they maintain them daily. Otherwise, there's not a lot of road systems on Devil's Lake. And if you're wanting to get out there just to go anywhere on the lake, you're going to need a track vehicle. A lot of snow drifts, a lot of snow. Driving in a truck or an ATV with wheels is, is kind of out of the question. Mark says the ice is pretty good out there, 20 plus inches in most areas. Some areas could be a little bit less depending on where you are. Now, Bryce Guide Service has been really targeting perch as of late. He says the perch bite is pretty good. The tricky part is finding the bigger perch. Mark says there's a lot of your classes of perch out there. The tricky part is finding the bigger ones. Now, since they're typically targeting perch out deeper, perch are very susceptible to barrel trauma and they're fishing usually over 25 feet. So usually the perch that you catch, they're not gonna survive. So keep that in mind. Now, Mark says to get these bigger perch to bite, you usually wanna up your game a little bit and uh, use a little bit bigger lures dropper style rigs, tungsten jigs. You can use buckshot spoons, PK spoons, all those things work. If you're trying to target a little bit bigger perch, use a little bit bigger rig. Now moving to walleyes, Mark says the walleye bite is a little bit spottier. It's very day by day. One day they'll really get on them, the next day they'll be gone. Mark says you're searching for walleyes, you're gonna wanna probably look in 10 to 20 feet of water in your early morning and your late afternoon into evening are your best bite windows. Now, Mark wanted to pass along. There's a fishing tournament out on Devil's Lake this Saturday. Stop by Ed's Bar and Bait for some free breakfast and some free chili after the tournament. Ed's Bar and Bait also has rod and reel combos. They got bait. They got all the lures that you're going to need for a successful fishing weekend. You want to get out to Devil's Lake, chase some perch, chase some walleyes, get in touch with Bry's Guide Service. Now your weather for Devil's Lake this weekend, your highs are gonna be in your teens to your mid 20s. Lows look to be around five to 15 degrees throughout the weekend and your winds are gonna be 10 to 15 miles an hour. So a lot better than last weekend, but there's still some room to improve. All right, checking in with Mike Peluso Outdoors out on Devil's Lake. Mike says he described the walleye bite as decent and the perch bite as fair. Mike says if you're heading out to Devil's Lake to do some fishing on your own, make sure you have a track vehicle or you hire somebody that does. Not as many road systems out there, a lot of snow and wind makes travel conditions tough with the amount of snow that we've had. Now Mike says his experience with perch over the past week been a little bit tougher, harder to, harder to find and harder to follow. He says he hasn't noticed really that the perch have really been bunching up like he's noticed in years past. So that makes him a little bit tougher to track down and to stay on top of them. Now, as far as walleyes, Mike says walleye bite's been pretty good. He's noticed that the walleye bite is a little bit better on cloudy days. So on cloudy days, they're focusing more on walleyes and on those sunnier days, they're focusing more on chasing perch. Now, Mike says probably the hottest bite in North Dakota right now is on Lake Oahe. I hope I pronounced that right. He says the best place to target that right now is from Beaver Bay to the North Dakota, South Dakota border. Mike says those river fish are not as affected by the weather as the lake fish are. He says if you're in the right place at the right time, right around sundown, he says you're gonna put some fish on the ice. Now moving over to Sakakawea, Mike says a good bite exists over there as well. 
Probably the area you want to be in is that Van Hook area or on the river near the Four Bears Casino. Those areas are definitely better in low light periods. Mike wanted to pass along, if you're looking to try catch a personal best walleye, he does some spring trips out near Bismarck. A lot of big walleyes are caught out there. So potentially, if that's a trip you're interested in, make sure you get in touch with Mike Peluso Outdoors. Now moving up to Lake of the Woods, let's go to the Warroad area, talk to Wes Harder this week. Been a little bit tougher up there still. The fish are still seem to be pretty lethargic from what he's seeing. He says you're still gonna wanna use a lot of dead stick presentations with a white or red hook, a bear hook, tip it with a minnow or a minnow head. Now he says the walleye fishing has been slow, but he's noticed an uptick in his clients catching perch. So if there's a silver lining to the walleyes being slow, perch fishing is a, is a strong number two. He's had some really nice perch coming into his houses and some bigger northern pike as well. Now Wes runs a full line of sleeper houses and some day houses too. He runs the Illumilite houses, very comfortable, very warm. He had a cancellation, so he does have some openings and he's got some openings come up coming up now in mid-February. So if you're wanting to get out on a sleeper house or a day house, fish out of the Swift Ditch area on Lake of the Woods, make sure you get in touch with Wes Harder's Guide Service. All right, moving over to the southeast end of Lake of the Woods out of Baudette, Marshall from Lake Row Lots says this past week he'd describe as spotty. Out of a row of houses, he'd have some houses that would do pretty good and some that were a little bit slower. Now most of his clients have been using the colors gold, orange, and blue. And there's some, he says there's some fascination with blue this year. Blue has probably been the top color for catching walleyes. Now Marshall said they made a big move, so they're out quite a bit farther this week. And he says if you're coming up there and you're going out on your own, if you're gonna try go off the road and use a wheeled vehicle, you're gonna have some difficulties. A lot of snow up there, very drifted. So track vehicles is gonna be the way to go. Now Marshall had a cancellation for this weekend. If you're interested in getting up there, make sure you give him a call. He's got some availabilities coming up here in February. So if you're wanting to get up on Lake of the Woods out of the Bodette area, get in touch with Marshall from Lake Road Lodge. Now your weather for Lake of the Woods this weekend looks to be, your highs are gonna be in the mid-teens, maybe to 20. Your lows are gonna be just a couple degrees below zero, two zero, and a little bit above as the weekend goes on. Wind's gonna be about 10 to 15, so it looks a little bit better. Some colder weather coming up later on in the week, and we'll see how that goes. Well, that's what I got for the weekend. Hope that you get out and do some fishing. Again, if you wanna send some fish pictures, you can send them to after5outdoors at gmail.com. We'll be sure to put them on the next fishing report. Hope you can get out and enjoy God's Great Outdoors, and we'll see you on the next one.